Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. Rebellion. Confringo. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. 
Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor, I shall see you near the coast. Rebellion. This place has seen better days. I do hope he hasn't been kidnapped or eaten. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. I... Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, they say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse. As we drew near, the more... Oh, I've been worried sick. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the take. I should be going now. Thank you. Rebellio. That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Hmm. It's like a place right out of a story. Confringo.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I'm sure those Hello there. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Revelio, be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Accio. Revelio. Hello there. Come on in and have a look around. No touching. Revelio. My poor Rococo. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion.
You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. Good bring them. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature... Now, Professor Rack... So, I shall wish you good luck. What are you up to now? Thank you again for delivering those pushes Rebellion. to Mermoir. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. of that encampment. This must be the place. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Thank you. 
your help, friend. To race now, my friend. Faster. Here we go. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. Crossing that bridge, whether you like it or not. You think you're so what? I need to 
race now, my friend. Well, I'll check your pockets after you're dead. Slow down now. I have time for you all to clear out. Race now, my friend. Slow down now. There we go. Rebellion. Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Rebellion. Hello? Is it Ora? Is it Ora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all... What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neep was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Turn to your common room, all right? What have you? 
you done? Take a breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We built the trials to lead that person to us. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that... You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. Return with the wand, and we will open the way.
I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may... If Ranrock really... All right, Professor. Hello, Grace. Nice to see you. I've become quite good at... I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. The Pink Smedleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally. Akia! to do it. That's the way to do it. Akio. I got the better of you. Seems you couldn't get the upper hand that time. How about another round? Let's have it. Then take your mark. Shot. That's the way to do it. I've been bested. Well done! D you played a good game, though, Grace. Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might...
wish I could afford my own room from Spint Witches. I met some of my best friends. <laughs> Today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll. If you fail history of magic, you're doomed to repeat it. Along with the rest the, of the castle, the class that is completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above Rebellion. it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, not all goblin. Did you say Bragball? Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. Now, where were we? Back to our class topic for t Rebellion. <laughs> Not crumbled left. Can all students introduce themselves to this hero? Can you tell me where I might find Grimble? Oh yes, Grimble Weft. Quick with an. He's a fascinating art. At any rate, he can be found. Rebellion. These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called Celine Wartnobby. Rumor has it she was demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. She was never seen again. Perhaps she succeeded. Rebellion. Oh, yes. I see you found. Yes, I rather enjoy. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. Now, let's turn our attention. He's also near. Standing in eternal but Rebellion. symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights. Or rather, standard knights. Accurate. Keen eyes. We'll spot the statue of Sir Halfpuddle of the cheerful the countenance nestled among the ranks. The Rebellion. Professor Binz's manner of teaching. His fame was not won by vanquishing foes in single combat, nor Sir by Puddle, slaying This is a centuries-old likeness of Pangadon. Rather in Fearless mouse hunter and devoted As one would expect. Professor Bins, I found this. Ah, so beloved. Of course, then. Pity goblins and wizards. True. Hmm. The wise student.
I think I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest this and we can tell him about the symbol the Mooncalves made. Revelio. When they ask you a question, now isn't it? Revelio faces. I'll just die. Might as well be surrounded by Jarvis. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Ghosts can procure rancid meat and no one says a word. Confringo! With here and all of an outcry. Revelio. Revelio. I'd sink like a stone. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least. I'm Nerida, by the way. We didn't officially meet, but we. Yes, of course. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I I feel that if goblins and centaurs. I'm impressed. I think. You do? 
I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. Yeah, the last thing I want is for the... Now, if I'm not mistaken... I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Revelio. Indanium Leviosa. Confringo. Revelio. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Nurida an artifact? Revelio. Confringo. Loom. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Wingardium Leviosa. Confringo. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Narada will be happy about this. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's... W Our relationship with them is already so... Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relate. Merlin's beard. I'm going to show it to every... Thank you again. I can't wait to study this. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you? I did. I am a... Why do you ask? I see. Well, the castle, it's... As for the students, well... Although, we got a... I can tell you.
Uh, I, I hadn't realized that... <laughs> Appearances can... Time itself. Ah, well, it was... An unspeakable. Ah, uh, as you might suspect. I can... Now, I hope I... You have. Thank you. Keep up with your wand work. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? Oh, and I was only trying to help. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall... Thank you. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed... She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequence. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't... We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her own. I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his action, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree. Thank you, Ominous. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again.
And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are... I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path... But the acumen of... You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy. I did not know, my young friend, but... I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. Of course. Many, many moons ago. I believe the symbol created by the moon... Please, go on. I... You should make haste there. The Snidget... If you're right about this place, then we should... I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. Revelio. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes, Professor Figgs. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand. Yes, sir. I have them. Oh, my. How extraordinary. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our 
mutual pursuit. I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Expulsion! Expulsion! 
quite conductive, aren't we? Please. Open them. Confirm them. Descend them. What are your folks on? Electricity. Rebellion. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an Alpha Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart, are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He destroyed so many lives and he wouldn't have stopped. I'm glad I was able to put an end to him. You're right. He wouldn't have stopped. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book. 
the trials, to ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Astonishing! That must be the way to the repository. 